going to do an anecdotal comparison between my Langstroth hives and my top bar hives that I have sitting right next to each other. This is my first year uh, running top bar hives. I've had Langstroth hives for on and off the last 10 years or so. I just wanted to give top bars a try. So these six hives, out of the six, one, which is the small Langstroth, the Langstroth in the middle of the three, uh, absconded after a couple days of doing cross combing. Uh, I would guess because of the screen bottom board that I had on it, it wasn't covered up. I would guess they absconded more than likely because they didn't like the light coming through. The other two Langstroths have solid bottom boards. They're running uh, no foundation on Walter T. Kelly foundationless frames on mediums. Top bar hives are built same width more or less as a Langstroth at the top with a bottom of 12 inches and a total depth of about 12 inches so one bar in my top bar frames have probably about 170 square inches whereas a full deep in a Langstroth has more like 140 square inches so it's a little bit bigger than a deep on each frame. There's 32 frames in each of the top bar hives. What I've noticed so far, now these hives all were packages, all Italians. They were put in the end of April. And this is now May 29. Uh, so far, both the Langstroths are doing equally well. They've built out probably 70% of two medium boxes. Uh, I've had a bit of cross combing on those foundationless frames, but nothing too difficult. More or less, I've uh, had to straighten a couple frames, uh, nothing major, and as you can see on the far left, there's a bit of burr comb that really was drone comb uh, that I pulled out because uh, it was crossed earlier today. I haven't had any problem at all with cross combing in the top bar hives and I'll have to show later on another video what I did for the guides but they've worked perfectly I would say a lot better than foundationless uh, and really less cross combing less problems than my experience with plastic or wax foundation and Langstroth I've just been really happy with that uh, all three of those top bar hives in a month's time have built out with their own comb probably oh I would say 80% of 15 top bars so we're talking about you know that's probably one and a half deeps fully built out versus 70% of two mediums in the Langstroth so top bar hives, at least anecdotally so far, have done uh, leaps and bounds better than the Langstroths. I've noticed uh, now the sun's setting now so there's not too much bearding. Today was really hot uh, and humid and sunny. I noticed a lot less bearding on the top bar hives. I don't know if that has something to do with the extra air space in the top bars. I don't have a follower board. They're just working their way towards the back. Uh, with a totally open space. Uh, I don't know if it has something to do with the roof because they have a, a bit of an air gap. As you can see underneath there's a air gap built very similar to how Wyatt Mangum in Fredericksburg, Virginia does his top bars. It's just a 2x4 with a metal piece of roof on top of it. Uh, this winter I'll probably throw some insulation in there but it seems like the ventilation has got to be a good thing compared to a traditional Langstroth. Uh, I haven't had any pest problems so far, of course it's only been a month with these bees. Uh, I'll keep an eye on that. I did see one mite in the very beginning and I haven't seen a single one since, so hopefully hopefully they don't multiply, we'll see. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Uh, so, so far, top bar hives, I've been really happy with it. I, it seems to me like the key, similar to checkerboarding, in Langstroth hives, if you want them to build out space and not uh, not really restrict their brood uh, laying area, you need to 
when you're checking the brood area on the top bars, pull out a couple and start spacing them out, or rather than pulling them out, insert empty bars, just like you were checkerboarding uh, when adding a new box on a Langstroth. It keeps the brood area open, and so far, now I've been careful not to open it up too much, since these are packages, so far they seem to have handled that really well. And like I said, those all three of those talk bars are at least at least a halfway back with the comb built out probably 70%. So I'd say it's, it's they're covering 15 frames at least in, uh, in all three of those. It's just doing phenomenal. We'll see how it does the rest of the year. Thank you. I'll get some more videos. See ya.